In this presentation, what we're going to do is we are going to look at a uh, two-way ANOVA. Okay, so we have a data set here called butter.csv, and we've got a response variable here called y, and this is a, essentially a numeric variable, and it has two sort of factors or categorical variables associated with it, brand, and there's four levels to that, and tech. Okay, so it's essentially... Um, with the brand and tech, essentially, essentially two sort of categorical variables. I want to see if these two categorical variables, when they're sort of studied together, are these very, are these categorical variables or factors relevant in the outcome of Y? Do they have any effect on Y? For example, does W tech W increase uh, the uh, Y, the output, the value of Y, or does it decrease the value of Y, or whatever. Essentially what we want to do is study both of these sort of factors, brand and tech, together. So that's the idea of two-way ANOVA. Okay, so how do we do this? Now this is um, a, a, it requires a little bit of, this is like two-way ANOVA, essentially we go to stat ANOVA, now we go down here to general linear model and fit general linear model, okay? Okay, so the response here is Y, okay, and the factors are brand, oops, and tech, so we'll just select both of them, okay, okay. Now, uh, there's a couple of things we can do here, uh, I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do actually is just sort of see if I can include an interaction effect, okay, uh, I'll tell you, I'll just run that first off. And essentially what we're going to sort of assume is that there's no sort of interaction between brand and tech, which is, uh, you know, if you can include an interaction effect, do, but we'll just, just sort of let's go without, without doing that here yet. And just sort of start us off. So click OK on that. So here we are. This is our two-way ANOVA. Okay. So general linear model, brand versus tech. So this is some information there about, uh, like, uh, the brands and so on, okay? Now, uh, what we're looking at here is that this bit here in particular is really interesting, okay? And essentially what is going on there is, this is just, this is the key outcome. Uh, it's saying that F, the brand has a very significant effect on the output of, of uh, on the response variable on Y, Okay, so essentially Y does change depending on what the value of te uh, what brand is in being studied. But uh, allowing for whatever the branding, it doesn't really matter which tech, which level of tech we're looking at, X, Y, W, Z, doesn't really matter. Essentially tech has got nothing to do with the output. So brand is a sort of significant factor in the sort of y in in the in the response y but tech is not significant as that is to say tech whatever tech is it doesn't really matter why it won't really affect y that much that's in a nutshell what uh two-way anova is about okay so that's the key part there brand and tech okay there's model summary there uh all that sort of stuff actually not as interesting as as we need I think the key thing actually in two way and over really this part here uh, I mean some of the other stuff is interesting but this part here brand is important tech is not important tech ha brand the null hypothesis is this factor is Im not important in determining the response in the case of brand we reject the null hypothesis in the case of tech we fail to reject the null hypothesis that's the key part of the two way ANOVA so I tell you what, um, let's have a look at a let's what see what happens now if we, we inter include an interaction effect. The interactions are actually quite interesting. So where are we going? ANOVA, GLM, general linear model, fit, general linear model. Let's see if we can include an interaction effect. So I think it is coding. Is it? Nope. Interesting but not important. Options. Click on options. Nope. I can't actually remember what it is. It's it's around here somewhere. There we are. So interactions through order two. So we're going to add interactions through order two. Uh, so we have to select this over here. We want to see if we can add an interaction effect here. Uh, 
and that's how you do it. Okay. So sorry, where was it again? Because I actually forgot myself. Model. Okay. Click on model. Uh, let's just remove this for a second so we can start again. Let's just chop that out. So essentially, I want to include an interaction effect between brand and tech. Okay. So I select brand, then I select tech. Okay. Interaction to order two. Just add that. Okay, so essentially rather than uh, having two main effects, brand and tech, I'm also into, going to include an uh, interaction effect to sort of see does the various combinations of brand and tech, is that important? Okay, so I'm going to explain what a uh, interaction effect is in another video at a different time, just actually sort of more so now concentrating on the mechanics of doing it, how to include an interaction effect. Click OK. And then we can press our buttons there. Um, results, see what results we can, yeah, okay, the usual sort of results. Let's just click OK. Okay, um, so scroll back up. Coefficients now. So here we see brand, again, significant. Tech, not significant. And brand and tech, not significant, okay? Now, so really the key takeaway there at the moment is just to see is there an interaction effect, how to in include an interaction effect. So we have two f main effects, okay, brand and tech, one is significant, one is not, and an interaction effect between those two main uh, factors, those two main effects, okay, and that's also not significant. So uh, that's it, um, okay.